Christophe Laporte went to the front. Yeah, what a wonderful moment it would be. Still 3.8 kilometers to go. If Taco van der Hoorn, after all the injuries that he has, three kilometers to go, GPS is slightly off, three kilometers to go. If after everything that Taco van der Hoorn has been through, he gets a win here for the Entermaché. But of course, Jelte Krijns, the man from Friesland, the man from Bolzwart, doesn't want to let that happen. We're inside the final three kilometers at the moment. Taco van der Hoorn, he's at the front. This is what he does best, Taco van der Hoorn. This is how he won races in the past. He's 30 years of age, comes from uh, the region around Rotterdam. And last year, on the 2nd of April, a crash in the Tour of Flanders. Remember that race where, where it took two, 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 two and a half hours before we finally had a breakaway? It was the same crash, if I remember, as Biniam Grimait that year. And it took him a year and a half, almost a year and a half to come back. And it's a year and a half today, exactly a year and a half since that 2nd of April 2023 that uh, the career of Tackle van der Hoorn almost ended. So how full circle would it be that exactly one and a half years later to the day on the 2nd of October, he pulls it off? Everybody has to chip in now in this chase. We're, we're inside the final two kilometers. This is the finish straight. Tackle van der Hoorn, the 30 year old, he's going to be 31 in December, is making his way to something very, very special. He's got seven wins in his career, Taco van der Hoorn. Seven wins. The last one was the Brussels Cycling Classic, where he did a similar thing, um, attacking in the final and then a sprint with three. Now, it's just him. And, and, and look at the gap that he created. Yeah, of course, Christophe Laporte, he, he has to go and try himself. But Taco van der Hoorn, he just puts his head down at the moment, pushes the watts. This is everything that he dreamed of. This is everything that he'd been thinking of of coming back after all these frustrating months of, of trying to recover and having setbacks again and, and a concussion, do not underestimate it. It's really, really hard. Final kilometre is upon us. It's mano a mano. It's Taco van der Hoorn versus Jelte Krijnse, Laporte, Reinders and Taminiao. Taminiao is saying, OK, I'm just biding my time here and going for one more attack and going to the front here. Jelte Krijns is glancing over his shoulder and this all works in favor of Taco van der Hoorn. What a fairy tale it would be if he pulls it off after everything that he has been through. He is just soldiering on, going through that chicane and now from this point on, it's just one straight line towards the finish outside of that restaurant. Here we are inside the barriers. Look at the smile on his face. Look at the smile on his face. Tackle van der Horn. He tried in the races where he, where he came back. The Bemis Classic was already there, but he made it work exactly a year and a half after that horrible crash in the Tour of Flanders. Taco van der Hoorn is back and he wins the Bet City of State Race. What a day, what a wonderful moment. Jelte Krijns in second, Christophe Laporte in third, Taminiao in fourth and Elmar Reinders in fifth place. But what an amazing day for Taco van der Hoorn after all that he's been through.